Welcome to another Sales Inc. tutorial video. We've developed these videos to make it easy to understand sailing concepts and improve your sailing. Today's topic is leeway. We'll define leeway, show you how to become aware of your boat's leeway, and share tips on how to improve your upwind performance by paying attention to leeway. If you'd rather read a summary of this video, see our post on leeway at salesinc.com. Let's start by showing what leeway is and why it exists. Leeway is the distance or angle a boat drifts off course to leeward due to the sideways force of the wind. Notice how the boat's bow is pointing toward the mark, but the boat is slipping to leeward. This is because the wind is pushing the boat sideways. The angle between the boat's heading and its actual track through the water is called the leeway angle. Leeway is always present unless you are sailing directly downwind. Let's understand why in more detail. The wind creates lift on the sail which pushes the boat forward and to the leeward side. The boat's forward and leeward motion creates lift and drag on the underwater surfaces, that is the hull, the boards, and the rudder, generating lift and drag to oppose the slippage. The underwater lift reduces the slippage to leeward, but it can't totally stop it because it needs some slippage to create lift. This is why there is always some leeway present. The amount of leeway depends on how much lift the underwater surfaces generate. You should try to be sensitive to the amount of leeway your boat is experiencing. Normally it's not too noticeable, but you still should be aware of it, especially if it increases. The easiest way to observe it is to use a course mark or point on the shore. If the bow is pointed towards the mark, you'll soon see that your actual progress is taking you lower than the mark. If your boat has instruments, you can measure your leeway by comparing your compass heading to a GPS-based bearing that measures your actual track through the water. In the case shown, what's the leeway angle? The answer is 10 degrees, which is the difference between the boat's heading and its actual track through the water. If you're making a lot of leeway, you can see it by watching the wake off your stern. As the boat slips to leeward, the windward side wake is at a greater angle to the boat than the leeward side wake. You can see leeway in this video of an X-boat sailing upwind on a puffy day. Watch for indications that the boat is side slipping including the shore reference and the boat's weight. Watch what happens when the boat heals up. You see how much side slip happened when the boat healed up? We know that leeway is always present when sailing upwind or on a reach. How much leeway is normal? Most racing boats sail upwind in medium breeze with 3 to 5 degrees of leeway. The drawing shows a 5 degree leeway angle, which is pretty hard to see on the water. Let's test your feel for the concept of leeway. Here's a series of questions about factors that will either increase or decrease the amount of leeway. Will leeway increase or decrease if the boat slows down due to poor sail trim? Leeway will increase. As the boat slows, there is less flow over the foils, and therefore less lift. The term foils includes the centerboard, leeboards, and rudder. What if the boat is overheeled? Leeway will increase if the boat's overheeled. The boards, the foils, are less effective when they are not vertical in the water. How about sailing in waves? Leeway will increase. The boat pitches and rolls, disturbing the flow over the foils, which reduces lift. Some boats have foils that are flat plates instead of being curved on both sides like a wing. Do the flat plate foils affect leeway compared to the shaped foils? Flat plates increase leeway. Just like airplane wings, underwater curved surfaces generate more lift to combat leeway. What if the foil surfaces are not smooth? Leeway will increase again. A rough surface creates turbulent flow, which reduces the lift. So make sure your boards are clean and smooth. What if the mainsail is over-trimmed? 
Again, leeway will increase, and over-trimmed sail generates more side force. See our series on sail trim for more on this. Now we'll cover some common leeway problems and give some tips on how to deal with them. The most obvious problem is judging the ley line. As the diagram shows, you have to go a little past the ley line to account for leeway, or else you won't be able to sail to the mark after tacking. Judging the ley line becomes more difficult the further you are away from the mark. That's one of the several reasons for avoiding the ley lines until you're close to the mark. You also have to worry about factors that could slow you down and increase leeway, such as disturbed air or a decrease in wind strength. Also, wind shifts will affect the ley line, though shifts do not affect leeway. Too much leeway is another common problem. This is often the case just after the start, when your boat is not moving fast, or in light air when you're not trimming properly. What are some clues that you have too much leeway? First, the boat will feel slow. Remember, lack of speed makes leeway increase. A very frustrating sign is that boats that are sailing with the same heading are gaining to windward, even if they are in the same wind as your boat. You can also look at your telltales for a third clue. Often, if you're going slow, the telltales on your stays will be pointing into the front of the sail rather than towards the aft portion of the sail. Another way of saying this is that your apparent wind is further aft than normal. All these are clues that you need to build speed to reduce leeway. First, match your sail trim and heading to the apparent wind to get air flowing over the sails and build speed. This may mean easing the sheets or heading up if you're over trimmed, or trimming in and heading down if you're under trimmed. Do whatever it takes to build speed as soon as possible. Don't worry about the other boat's heading until after you build speed. If you're overpowered, you also have to reduce the side force. Assuming you're already hiking hard, you have to reduce power either by flattening the sails with your controls, the bang, the Cunningham, the alcohol or by easing the sail momentarily to let it luff and spill power. Once you've built speed and your apparent wind starts moving forward again, that is the telltales point more to the rear of the sail, you can head up and your leeway will be back to normal. We've covered the basics of leeway. If you want to dig into this topic more deeply, here's some bonus content about how the rudder affects leeway. The rudder also provides underwater lift and drag to combat leeway. If your boat has weather helm, this means you have to pull the tiller slightly to windward to keep it sailing straight. Your rudder will feel extra pressure from the water flowing past it. This produces additional underwater lift and drag. Some experts claim that a small amount of weather helm improves overall performance. There's a Sailing World article by Andy Horton that claims your leeway angle plus your rudder angle should add up to 5 to 7 degrees for best upwind performance. He recommends experimenting with boat tuning to find the best combination of leeway and weather helm. A link to the article is in the description of this video. I found data in the Buccaneer 18 tuning guide claiming to prove that 3 degrees of weather helm improves upwind performance in winds up to 13 knots. Above 13 knots, there is no advantage to weather helm. On the other hand, several respected experts firmly believe that a neutral helm gives the best upwind performance. They would say that the only reason for a very slight weather helm is to help the skipper feel if the boat is powered up. Whichever set of experts is correct doesn't make that much difference. All the experts agree that more than a few degrees of weather helm slows you down. Getting the other stuff right is much more important. Let's summarize the key points we've covered. First, leeway is always present and is most notable when you're sailing upwind. You can reduce leeway with good boat speed, sail trim that matches your heading, maintaining proper angle of heel, minimizing disturbances to the flow of your foils, and keeping your foils clean and smooth. Finally, if you want to fine-tune your speed, experiment with mast rake and other boat tuning to find an optimal helm feel. Go out and try some two-boat testing as you experiment. For watching, if you like our videos, please subscribe. For much more content and some unique sailing products, 
Visit our website at salesing.com.